if you're a purist and you're just holding Bitcoin for the long term as a digital gold, as I am, I would never buy an ETF. Why would I pay these fees? It's completely unnecessary and they add no value to me. Mm -hmm. The great news is in this event is it shows a march forward on regulation towards cryptocurrencies. In addition, I would hope this re-energizes Congress to look at digital payment systems like tokens around uh, USDC, for example, which is based on the US dollar as a payment system. Mm -hmm. That has been out there. The, the Stablecoin Act has been kind of delayed. But now we have this momentous occasion, which is great, um, but we're way early. We're in the first inning. And regarding 11 of these ETFs, not a chance they all survive. You should be watching AUM, Assets Under Management. Maybe two or three will win. Hmm. I would bet that behemoths like Fidelity and BlackRock end up on top because they have massive sales forces. But if your institutions don't care about this, they don't care because they would never buy an ETF. They'd never pay the hmm. fees. The great news is that it's a signal to them, and particularly sovereign wealth, which I deal with, they like this development. This is a good thing for them to eventually mm. get into crypto that the SEC has finally approved. Going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leverage to technology, and I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust. And we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American. You know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. The Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Bassick. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told told his members that this has been part of the reason
reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy. And, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. So like I told you, I definitely see a big pullback in the first quarter. Then the master magician set up a distraction so the Fed can cut rates, and then we move up. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we had Bitcoin and crypto pull back. Don't forget, guys, we had options yesterday. And then, of course, all the hype around the spot Bitcoin ETF is now over. And we're back to reality until the halving. We know the mainstream media come back full force then. But we have BlackRock CEO doubts Bitcoin will become a currency. And guys, we know when we read the white paper, it definitely could have scaled. It definitely could have been a currency. But of course, the central banks didn't want that. And the way it's looking, the machines will be using Bitcoin. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates which are down. Which again, guys, they definitely should be skyrocketing because the Fed hasn't cut rates yet. We have the dollar slightly up. We have volume and crypto slightly up. We have Tether, USDC, and TUSD. And we have PayPal stablecoin market cap grows to 290 million, 70% over the month. And we know they're heavily invested in South America. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $603 billion. And we're seeing assets take a pullback except for the Magnificent Seven. And we know eventually that's going to pull back too because we hear the drums are beating. We know that distraction is coming soon. You can already feel it. Now, we have Singapore Bill would expand control over crypto financial products. And we see the emerging markets and the EU definitely pushing crypto regulation. Remember, the emerging markets flipped the switch this year, and the United States is going to flip the switch next year. And that's the reason why we have so much chaos in the Middle East. Remember, it's order out of chaos. Albert Pike, if you have the NWO book, you understand. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, we have Grayscale, BlackRock, Fidelity, all the Bitcoin spot ETFs down. But we see Grayscale is already putting a plan 
so therefore they don't take a lot of losses. And then we also had the Grayscale Trust move $41 million in Bitcoin to Coinbase Exchange during the Bitcoin pullback. And Arkham data says a total of 4,000 Bitcoin was moved to Coinbase. And that's about $175 million. And of course, that's going to draw a lot of red flags. All we have to do is sit back, get your popcorn, and let it play out. Now we have Sotheby's opens bidding for first curated Bitcoin ordinal auction. And one of my Patreon members told me to watch the Netflix movie with Kevin Hart named Left. Because basically they're still in the NFT. That's right guys. We know the programming is constantly hitting the sheet. And lastly guys, the movie continues. We have Senator Wyden and Senator Loomis demand investigation into SEC's false post on X regarding the spot Bitcoin ETFs. And that post was definitely planned. And we know hundreds of millions of dollars was made. And then also they were able to control the algorithm. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book. Plus the three kids books is time to re-educate. Also, new cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yashua and Grandma Tim. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.